Hey kid, if I gave you a choice between this doll and Apple or this Bible, what would you choose? Hmm. The doll. Alright, grab it. That's it. Strong, you can do it. Hey kiddo, if I gave you a choice between this doll, this Apple, or this Bible, what would you choose? The doll. All yours. That's it. Take it out. Let's see, come on. What's going on, ma'am? Everything okay? They're taking everything. Our stuff, for God's sake. Don't worry, I'm going to... Please, why are they taking our stuff? Hey, mister, why are you stealing? What's going on? Why are you taking the ladies' things? Please do not take them away. Calm down, everything is going to be all right. What are you doing? Why are you stealing? Sir, we are not stealing. We are doing our job. Please retire. Excuse me, ma'am. Please. Why are you stealing? It's not a robbery, man. Who sent you? It's a seizure. Who sent you? The boss sent us. I'm just obeying orders. Okay, excuse me. Help me. Help me, please. They want to take all my things. For God's sake, help us. I didn't do anything. I don't know why they want to take everything. Why are you doing this? It's a seizure. I just do my job, friend. Please let me do it. I just follow my orders. Please move aside. But why? Why are you taking it away like this? I only obey orders if you want to call my boss, but I don't know anything. Sir, but please don't do no, this No, but to don't us. take it, brother. I'll pay you the debt. Move aside, my friend. I'll pay for it, my friend, but please. I'll pay it. Everything will be fine. I pay the debt. What happened? Why? Let's see, ma'am. What's your name? Olivia. Mrs. Olivia, don't worry. And you, girl, what's your name? Anna. Anna, look. Let's do the following. Let's wait. Let's wait for them to do their job. I'm going to help you, okay? Don't worry. They're gonna take all our stuff! Let them take it. Don't worry about it. They're doing their job. I'm going to help you so that... So... How are we going to be left with nothing? Don't worry, we'll see. Please, don't be bothering. Let us do I our job, men. Move aside, please. Hey, buddy, just take it easy. Just move aside? My friend, listen. Calm down, my friend. Please, calm down. We are doing our job, brother. Please take it easy. Don't film us, my friend. Please go away. Don't be grabbing me. Stay away. Calm down, my friend. Please move. You are preventing us from doing our job. But don't push me. She likes to ask for money, but does not like to pay. Please don't do it anymore. Please stop them, sir. I beg you. You don't worry, ma'am. Olivia is your name, right? Yes, sir. Give us Easy, a little support, please. Of course I will. We are going to do the following. Let's let them do their job. Let them upload the stuff. And we'll figure out a way to get them back, okay? Easy, Mrs. Olivia, Easy, please Granny. calm down. Let's let them do their job. I They're don't just want doing... you to worry, my child. I need you not to worry. Don't worry, Grandma. Easy, madam. Friend, come here. Hey, I'm sorry, I got really upset. I know you are just doing your job. Okay, me too, sorry. I got upset, but that's the job we do, friend. That's all. The lady has a debt. She has to pay. Of course she does. Do you know who sent them? Do you have a phone number? I was sent by my employer. He was the one who told me that we have to seize. It is in the name of the person. It is the address that we have. And that is what we are doing. It is our job. Of course, you can make it up to him, of course. I offer you an apology. Me too. We will finish doing our job. Go ahead, finish it. Mrs. Olivia, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything pertinent. Everything possible to get your things back. You live here with who? I don't owe them anything with my... With my granddaughter and it's with my son. And your son? Okay, With okay. my son, but he is almost never here. Look, let's do the following. Let's calm down. Now we give you something to calm you down. Please, don't get upset. Don't worry, ma'am, please. What do you say we go... I can't believe it. Madam, calm down. Please calm down. Just take it easy. All my efforts. Ma'am, let's do the following. Let's calm down. Breathe, please. Breathe. Let's finish. I know you don't know me, but I'm a good person. I'm going to do everything possible to get your things back. Let's walk for a little while. I'll buy you something to eat. How about that? Yes? Okay. Come on, look, don't worry. Mrs. Olivia, look, the truth is that I'm very sorry. And I want to offer you an apology because I got a little, well, aggressive with the person who was evicting your house. I mean, I got involved without knowing what. The motive. The why. And believe me, I felt very, very sorry for you. I know you were scared. Just like Anita, right? Who is your granddaughter? I thank you for the support you are giving to my granddaughter and me. Because it is really something that I did not expect. They came to me all of a sudden. 
Of course, you are at peace in your house, and suddenly they come to take all your belongings. And it's very frustrating, ma'am. Believe me, it is. And we who with so much sacrifice it took us to have those few things. And then, suddenly have them taken away from them. Of course, ma'am. And do you know why this happened? Unfortunately, like my son is a gambler. Okay. I think it's only because I take care of my granddaughter. Otherwise, I think he would have... Well... That bad? Yes, it's too much. But where do he bet? He goes to the casino. Okay. He tells me that he only spends five dollars. But at the very same time, the neighbors have even told me that he bets even his clothes. It's a terrible thing. Wow. Let's see, ma'am. Is Anita your son's daughter? Yes, she is. Okay, how do you feel, Anita? Well, sad because my dad bets, and well, no. Are you feeling very sad? Yes, because of my grandmother. Of course you do. And what does your dad say? He talks to you? No, no, no. He just comes and goes? And he's going to gamble again. Really? That much? That's a tough situation, ma'am. I do complain to him because I tell him, hey, son, sometimes we don't even have enough to eat. Your daughter and I? And you gamble. Of course. And he says to me, oh, mom, they give you credit at the store. But what a shame that I have to ask for credit to be able to eat. Of course not. He can't do that. Knowing that your son does have money in his wallet, and he goes and bets it, and leaves you without food on your plate. Have you already eaten something, Anita? No. What would you like to eat? Pizza. Pizza? Would you like to eat pizza? I feel so bad because I can't even afford a pizza for my little granddaughter. Really, ma'am? I can't afford it. And she likes to eat pizza so much. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm going to and give him it to her. And spending the money on beds. I'm going to give it to her. Don't Thank worry. Thank you very much. We couldn't afford to pay you that much. No, 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 no. I'm not charging you anything, ma'am. Thank you, sir. On the contrary, if you like, wait for me here and I'll be right back with a pizza for your granddaughter. In the meantime, take a rest, relax. Everything will be all right. Thank the Lord. Don't worry, ma'am. Don't worry, Anita. Don't really worry. How pretty your granddaughter is, isn't she? Thank you very much. You are an angel. In truth, Believe me, God I do all this heaven. because... Well, my team and I have been very blessed. And now it's my turn to return the favor. So, uh, let's have lunch, shall we? Thank you very much. Yes. Just wait for me to bring the food. Of course, that's nice of you. Nothing to thank. Ma'am, please tell me a little more about your son. Well, he was a very good son since he was very young. He was very hardworking, very studious. But suddenly, I don't know, he started to go to the casinos. And when he went to the casinos and came home, he was happy because he had won a lot of money. And every time? And share some of the money he earned? No, on the contrary. I used to say to him, son, the electricity bill has arrived. Oh, well, pay it, he used to say to me. Really, ma'am? And you gave him money, too, when, before you knew he was a gambler? Well, yes, because sometimes he would tell me he wanted the money because he was going to buy something for the girl, and he didn't buy her anything. Really? Then, all the clothes. Eat, ma'am, eat, please. Thank you. Hey, Anita, did your dad buy you clothes? No. Who buys them for you? My grandma. Really? What a nice grandma you have. He doesn't even buy school supplies for the child. Recently, when they entered school, I told him, your daughter's uniform doesn't fit anymore. And what did he answer? Well, don't put it on. It's not mandatory. Seriously? Hey, Anita, where's your mom? She passed away. Your mom passed away. How long ago? A year ago. A year ago? Sorry. Really, I apologize. No, no. I thought... I thought your mommy was still alive. Ma'am, so the house is practically mortgaged? Or was it mortgaged? What did they do that for? I wasn't aware of it. In fact, on the contrary, I would say to my son, Hey son, but are you really making the payments to the bank? Yes, mom. How can I stop paying? I will never stop paying. He lied to me about that too. Pure lies, pure lies. 
And I believed him because I said, well, maybe if he was doing well, he paid for the house. But no, sure. he wasn't doing well, and he didn't pay for the house. He had the luxury of, of practically mortgaging his house? Yes. And how did he do that? Did you sign any papers? The saddest thing is that it is supposed to be the patrimony that we are going to leave to the child. How difficult. And yet, he doesn't help us. I mean, you... You practically inherited it during your lifetime. Yes, I donated it to him so he wouldn't have any problems. Can you believe it? Let's finish eating. I'm going to make a phone call in the meantime. And give me a few... a few hours, a couple of hours, to see what I can do and how... how to... solve this matter while... I'll take you home while... and I see how to... I immediately solve the problem. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Don't worry, you ladies finish eating. I won't Thank be long. Thank you. Take one, please. Of course. Thank you very much. His entire house has been repossessed. All his furniture is being taken away. That's why. I'm telling you, brother. What do you mean you can't do anything? Of course you can. I mean, I have to... I have to pay that debt? You have to... Okay, no, don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, I'll order you those papers, but please hurry. Okay? All right. Perfect. Yes, I'll see the lady in two hours. I order it very much. Thanks, man. What's up? Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I was talking to my friend, the lawyer, and he tells me that, well, since it's a debt, it's already mortgaged. The bank has already got its hands on it and practically, well, they did their thing, didn't they? It was because of her son's fault. No, and besides, she donated the house to him. It was nothing. That is, there is no deed. The detail is that the lady has already signed. Let me explain. In other words, she gave her share to her son. And the bank, it counted to the law. They took his property. And they told him that if he didn't pay, an amount that's pretty hefty. Of course, I mean, the bank is not respecting that the house is not completely owned by the... Exactly. Because I'm telling you. The lady, the mother, Mrs. Olivia. She gave her share to her son. And he bet both parts. I mean, so... Ah, okay. You tried to get back the... About the lady? The lady part, of course. No, the son's what? The son is a gambler, and he won't change. He won't change. But don't worry. Believe me. This has to come out. Yes or yes. It's a hefty amount that has to be paid. But let's see what happens. And what if we pay it? Well, yeah. There's not going to be any other way. The truth is that's that... That's right, my friend. That's what we do. You know you can count on us. I know. Let's go. We have to help those who need it. Well, I'm coming to the bank where, well, obviously I'm going to make the payment. For Mrs. Olivia and may Anita be at peace. It's a bit unfair, really, because her son, as we mentioned, he's a gambler. And, well, the message practically tells itself. Don't do that yourselves. Don't bet things that aren't yours. And if you don't have to bet, maybe don't even enter it. I'm going to make the payment right now. And then, nothing. We are going to pay what, what is due so that the lady is calm and be at peace. Ready? That's it, man. The debt is paid. Mrs. Olivia's debt. Here I bring... It was quite a hefty amount. But, well, you know that for our team, nothing is impossible. So, as I told you before entering the bank, don't bet if you have absolutely nothing to do. So, let's... How about we give them the news? Yeah, we're on our way. I was just going to tell them. Let's give them the news that the debt is paid. Yes, sir. We have to think how to give it to them, my friend. Let's figure out how to... Oh, I know. Yes. Well... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I am, sir. Let's go, then. Let's do that surprise. We've just arrived at the lady's house, and we brought her the surprise. Remember a little while ago? Come with me. Mrs. Olivia. Well, I'm back. Welcome. Please come in. And ma'am, look, I brought you another pizza. You promised me you'd be here soon, and you delivered. We made it. How beautiful. Of course I did. Thank you very That's much. That's what it's all about, ma'am. Making, making people happy. Thank you very much. And take this little pizza box. What? Beware, because it's hot, huh? Don't burn it. But it doesn't seem to bring anything. Have you already eaten it, my friend? No, as you think. But the truth is that, yes, the pizza is very tasty, isn't it? Yes, it is very good. Are you hungry or not hungry? Well, there's a hot pizza, so you can eat. Well, I think it's very nice, and we thank you, but we'll save it for dinner, because right now we're still not very hungry, and we're still a little sad about what happened. Nor do we have a table. 
you don't have a table. But, well, look, open it to see if you like that pizza. I prefer it for dinner. For dinner? For dinner, All right, we're look, going to... Let's do the next thing. I want to tell you something. Uh, just now that I left, I had the chance to talk to some friends. Very good friends. They gave me very good advice. Regarding to what was the seizure that you suffered. Also Anita. And he told me, look, tell them not to worry. Take them a pizza to eat. The magic pizza, he said. Oh, how beautiful. What do you mean, magic pizza? I said, you take it to them, and they will like it. Then, I would like them to know with me. The magic pizza. Let's go to... Let's go to see it with pleasure. But we will dine her until later. And if you want to take a piece... Of course, thank you very much. What is this? A magic pizza. But what a great surprise. Ma'am, this is for you, so you can furnish your house. Just what is look. this? This is yours, sir. It was left here. No, no, no. On the contrary, it's yours. Open it, please. And check what it says. I have to put it like this because... Anita, read it to your grandmother. What to say? Because I can't see. What does say? Dear customer, your account has been settled. Oh, but how come? What do you mean the account has been settled? The account was in zeros. You'll be able to live in peace. You will live. Won't they come back? No, I mean, look, they will come back. Yes, but they will have things, their things, of but course. But they won't take them again? No, ma'am, here's everything. What a pleasure! Already paid for. We're going to get back the part you gave up. To your son. You see? He signed a letter? Well, he... He's not going to have a share in this house anymore. All of it. All the house is yours. We are also going to remodel it, and we are going to paint it, and we are going to do everything. Okay? You really are angels! Look, keep this, keep it. This is about a $6,000 so that you can change your furniture, okay? Yes, thank you. Do you like you. the idea? Are you happy? So many blessings with you. Mrs. Olivia, well, yes, just a because great that's what I do. With my team. And look how they melt in an embrace. I'd like to give you a hug, too. Of course. Because... Thank you very much. No, no, thanks to you. You are very beautiful women. Thank very you very much. And you are fighters. Thank you very much. Very patient and team thank for all the thank all you, the my support angel. and well to recover. High five, ma'am. All right. Very good.